The first plugged in activity that we would encourage you and your students to have a go at is the emergency lighting task. Now, the goal of this is to try and replicate what flashing lights look like on an emergency service vehicle. So in the guide itself on page eight, there's a really straightforward, simple diagram that if the students put that together, or you do it yourself as a teacher first, just to check it's all working, uh, you just need the crumble board and you need one sparkle. So that's one of these light blocks that has an LED and you can actually change the color of that uh, just by using the, the program the program itself. Uh, make sure that it is turned green so it's actually turned on. And initially you just want to check it's working by just sending a signal to make it have a red light. What you can then do is you can start adding blocks to build up a sequence of light and you can alter the time that the light is on for, how long the light is off for. You can then change the color as well. And it gives you a guide about having two red flashes and then two blue flashes. And if you get it working, it looks something a little bit like this. But obviously you want the students to think about what else they can do. They can maybe add other sparkles um, alongside this. So you maybe have two different lights which are flashing. They can change the sequence, they can change the timing. And also they can even add a switch to make it start and stop. So um, just to bear in mind as well that if you're just using one sparkle, that the first sparkle is sparkle zero. If you're going to start adding more sparkles on, then it's going to be sparkle one, sparkle two, etc. In the teacher guide as well, we do provide one possible solution for this activity. But as Lewis mentioned, there is plenty of scope for students to become as creative um, and explore different things as they wish. We don't provide any solution for um, the switch in the teacher guide however there is a lot of information about that in the red fun getting started guide this leads us on to the led life jacket activity so for this one here rather than it just turning on whenever you want it to we actually make a moisture sensing switch just made out of a couple of paper clips and when you get water between the two paper clips it completes the circuit and then it allows the flashing light to turn on and the LED life jacket um, activity is a good opportunity for you to explore with your students what light sequence might they want to use that will be the most effective uh, to send out a distress signal if out at sea, most likely at night time. And then going on from that, we don't just go from one sparkle, but you can actually add a series of sparkles together. But when it gets to like six, seven, eight sparkles, it gets a little bit complicated. There's wires everywhere. And actually what's included in the kit is a really lovely sparkle button. So as Lewis mentioned, the sparkle button is essentially eight sparkles um, already connected together. Um, so you could program these by having set sparkle zero, set sparkle one, set sparkle two, etc. right up to set sparkle seven. However, that obviously gets very long winded um, and produce, it means that you might be writing a large, uh, an overly complicated piece of code. Or you could use the sparkle button code block, which is a really nice, clean bit of code that allows you to set all the numbers with just one block. And the great thing is you've got loads of control over this. I mean, it takes a bit of time to actually set, set this up initially. But what you can then do is once you've sent the code to the crumble, this can be unplugged. We've still got the code running and you can then actually attach this onto maybe a meter stick and you can start waving it around to not only just make pretty patterns, but you can actually send out an SOS signal itself. You can make this start to make letters so you get this persistence of vision and then you can send messages. And this works really well in a, a darker environment rather than like a bright classroom. And for a bit of support for your students, we provided a matrix in which your, your students can use to plan their SOS message. So these three tasks were all using sparkles to send out light. And I know that students really engaged with that. They had an immediate uh, confirmation that the code that they wrote was working. And it's just some really nice things that students actually love doing. And as always, uh, all of our resources are available to download for free on our resource hub.